going on YouTube? Just taking a little quick walk here. Some nice midday light cardio. Normally I'd bring my Doberman, my big boy, but in this case I figured I would just do a quick vlog. And I'm also enjoying my protein coffee, so it's a lot more work when I have to bring my boys with me. Although it is fun, it's enjoyable, but you know, sometimes it's nice just to just to walk, just to get out and walk. So what I wanted to talk about in this video, it's something that's been brought to mind many, many, many times. Why? Because it's something that is very common in our society. And the reason it's been brought to mind in particular today is because I checked my Facebook messages and I've noticed that one of my second cousins in Ireland, see I'm half Irish, half Cypriot, which is like Greek, it's like a Greek island, small little Greek island. So my Irish second cousin messaged me and he wants to raise awareness for depression in men. And he asked me to share something on my, my profile. And now I understand the, the desire to raise awareness for depression in men. And I understand that if you kind of spread the word and this and that, that it could help people understand that depression is prevalent in men. But to be honest, it is just as prevalent in women. And it's not so much an issue of, of uh, masculine or feminine. It's, it's a societal issue, in my opinion. It's a human issue. Depression in human beings. But since that is a larger overarching topic, what I'd like to focus on here is just the depression in men. And it's something that I've actually... Obviously, it's something I've experienced myself because here I am, a human being, walking around this earth. So ex expect to experience some forms of depression. In Buddhism, this is part of your karma or your dharma, suffering. And in large part, in Buddhism, there is a certain acceptance of it. And it comes as part of the great play, the great cosmic play that unfolds, the divine Leela, which is the the playfulness of it all, the playfulness of the, of the drama. And what is the drama? It's basically, it's basically this world that we exist in. This is the drama, this is the play. So suffering and depression is inherent in this play. So why do some men feel it more than others is the question. And it's really what I wanted to get at in this particular vlog. So to be perfectly honest, it's my opinion that men lack a certain understanding and beyond that, a certain responsibility, which I guess you could say genetically women naturally have. So women naturally have the inclination to bear a child and this is a huge part of their life. This is a huge part of actualizing themselves in the divine Leela, the cosmic play in this world. Men, it's a little bit more challenging for them because you have to figure out what your role is. And then you have to figure out the steps, the steps you need to take in order to actualize yourself, in order to bring whatever it is you're trying to do into fruition in order to manifest it in this world. So men seem to have this, it's a desire to actualize, it's a desire to manifest, however, it's one that they aren't, in my experience, many men aren't quite sure how to do this. And it's a challenging topic. It's basically, If you look at religious texts and you look at like mythological stories, it's a great way of articulating this Leela in which I'm referring to, this cosmic play. So the man is set out to be the mythological hero, the archetypal, archetypal hero of the story, the one who slays the dragon. 
Now I'm actually going to uh, give you some references here in the description below if you want to check out more from someone talking about this stuff quite a bit. His name is Jordan Peterson and he speaks about men slaying the dragon of chaos. But the point I'd like to make is that most men in our society are not ready or willing or able or have a certain understanding enough to know how to step up and slay the dragon of chaos. Most men don't know where to begin. So a lot of them just kind of stumble around wandering in confusion without any sense of direction or purpose. And when there's no sense of purpose or direction, that's when the depression will set in. So I guess it's a bigger question of how do you bring purpose to your life? And that's not an easy one to answer. See, for me personally, I bring purpose through close friendships. I bring it through my work life, through my business endeavors. I bring it through sharing my life experiences and just speaking to you as I am right now. I do physical training, train my body. So I'm actualizing myself physically in the world. I believe that genetically I am predisposed to certain abilities. Some of those are athletic in nature and I express myself here. And I use those abilities as best I can. So what I would suggest if you're a male and you're feeling mildly depressed. I would suggest trying to focus on what it is you enjoy doing in life. And I don't mean playing video games or watching sports. I don't mean doing bullshit that's not going to fulfill you at a deeper level. I don't mean doing some visceral garbage that's just here to entertain you and here to occupy your senses. See, if you're looking for fulfillment, if you're looking to get yourself out of depression by using your senses, then you're gonna fall short. I can tell you that right now. If you focus on what it is you enjoy doing and you try to do that without using your mind too much to get in the way. Try to focus on using your heart. If you follow your heart, then it will help guide you in the direction you need to follow. And it's kind of like an intuitive nature that you would have within you. So there's a certain realization and a certain understanding that needs to come with this. The understanding is that every man has within them the capacity to, to be that mythological hero, to be the archetypal hero that slays the dragon. Every single one of you. If you're a man watching this, if you're a woman watching this, I can tell you right now that inherent within you is the, the nature of something great. Many refer to it as the Buddha nature. It can also be referred to as the Christ consciousness. It is what, what's within you that is greater than all things around you, all visceral things which I described earlier. All these things which you may seek to use to occupy your mind so you don't feel this emptiness, this hollowness that many express to me, many men express to me. I know a lot of men that professionally, they don't quite know what they're doing. So they feel a sense of emptiness there. In their personal lives, they don't know what they're doing. 
so they feel a sense of emptiness there, a sense of lack. And it's all coming back to a non-understanding and non-acceptance of what I mentioned moments ago. The inherent Buddha nature and Christ consciousness within you. It's like you have to step up to the plate to accept that quality of yourself. And a lot of people aren't willing to do it. A lot of people don't even realize that it's there. And if you were to tell them, they won't believe you. You know, I just watched a movie recently. It's uh, King Arthur, I think it was. The Sword in the Stone. And in the movie, the character... I'm just going to switch hands here. In the movie, the character was reluctant. He pulls the sword out of the stone, and the sword basically accepts him. And then he's reluctant to accept the sword. Basically, he's, he's resisting the sword. The sword is a representation of that inherent Buddha nature within you. The sword is a representation of the mythological hero. So most men don't quite realize that it's their, I like to use the word divine because it has a certain implication to it, but it's your divine heritage to take up the sword and to accept your responsibility. Now that could be responsibility of having a family, that could be responsibility of having a professional career, it could be it could be something else. It, for, for me, I, I feel as, as I continue to train myself physically, I feel it's my responsibility to keep training because I feel like otherwise I would be wasting what has been given to me here, the opportunities. If I stop training mentally, if I stop researching, if I stop reading and listening to audiobooks, if I stop producing content, practicing my articulation of things, then I'll feel a certain lack myself. And trust me, that's when that form, that mild form of depression starts to set in because I'm not actualizing. So if you're a man here in this world, what I would suggest trying, as I did earlier, take it upon yourself to figure out what it is you're good at and what it is you enjoy doing and it doesn't have to be anything extravagant. It just has to be enough that you start to actualize yourself here. Because if you're not doing that, if you're not stepping up to the plate, if you're not accepting the sword and ripping it out of the stone, then truly I don't know what you're doing here, man. The point is, you gotta step it up. Step it up in all aspects of life. So if you don't feel like doing something, it starts just with decisions, to be honest. If you don't feel like doing some project, do it. Just do it. If you don't feel like going to train, just go train. If you don't feel like... So for instance, for me, some days I don't feel like producing content. I don't feel like making videos. I don't feel like uploading stuff, this and that. But I just do it. I just do it. And when, when I do something like that, it, it comes so naturally to me that when the day's done, um, I look back and I actually don't really recall how everything unfolded throughout the day. I may have gotten 15 things done, but it's almost as if they've just got done on their own. See, when you do this, when you just do, when you just take action, when you just pick up the sword, you're removing the doer. And the point is there is no doer. The doer is the one that's tied up in the senses. The doer is the one that's looking for satisfaction, gratification through visceral things. The point is to remove the doer so there is only left the action, the intent and the action. And you almost have to feel righteous in your inclination to perform the action. You have to feel like there's some divine, some divinity to it. Because if you don't, you're just some guy. You're just some guy doing some bullshit. You're just picking up poop in a field. I'm just thinking, <laughs> I want to take my dogs out for a walk. 
picking up poop in a field. You see, great things aren't done like a lot of people think they are, you know? People, it's like you think that you do such simple activities and that there's going to be such great, great outcome from it. But it's all baby steps. You could do something so simple today and that two years from now, you'll see the fruition. You'll see the fruits of your labor. It'll start to manifest in two years. And you wouldn't have known that. You just have to practice patience and take that action. Pick up the sword. Remove the doer. So that's really what I wanted to talk about here. I just want to share my thoughts on, on the topic of depression. Because it's something that's so prevalent in our society. It's something that I struggle with every now and then. But because I'm able to return to my true nature, it dissolves everything that is bothering me. So if I wake up and I'm not feeling 110%, some days I'll wake up, I just need a few minutes. I might just go, go for a walk. I might just go, I, so I really like taking showers, long showers. I get to you know, be left alone, no devices, and I get to you know, be left with my thoughts. So if you wake up and you're feeling like that, just give yourself some time, go for a walk, and root yourself, ground yourself in your true nature, in your true being, the mythological hero, and step up to the plate, pull out that sword, and sling it around and slay that dragon. The dragon will manifest itself in all forms. It'll manifest itself as obstacles, as barriers in your life. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when those obstacles arise? Are you going to cower? Are you going to hide? Are you going to cry about it? Are you going to smash them? And set yourself up. And make an example for all those that come after you. Teach others how to smash their problems. How to destroy those dragons. Teach them how to carry the sword by carrying it yourself. And that's how you overcome depression. Because depression is merely someone's lack of understanding manifesting here in a form of confusion. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. It's what I wanted to share with you. I hope this video helps you. And uh, if you want to see more like it, let me know. Shoot me a message on any of the socials as usual. And uh, otherwise, thank you for watching. Catch you again in that next one.